What's going on today guys, Primal Sabbath here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a test shot for the Beast Wars Ramulus mold. Um, I kind of think that it was more or less a test shot for Universe Longhorn. It shares a lot of the kind of crazy uh, mold, like different color breakups that a lot of test shots from the Universe era uh, had. But as far as finding out like what it is and what era, whatever... Uh, you know, who knows? Maybe uh, maybe a former Hasbro employee would, would remember, but I kind of doubt that too. But otherwise, this has kind of been like a, a grail piece for me. I, I'd seen like one other person that had it, and uh, anyways, it, it went up for sale on eBay, and I knew I had to get it. Uh, I love the colors on this. This would have made just a, its own awesome deco, uh, I believe, uh, S, -S, 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 S underscore grid on Twitter. Uh, mentioned like it would have made a cool Liege Maximo and like I couldn't agree more. I think that would have been, just been really awesome to see. But otherwise, um, it's just uh, just crazy test shot colors that just sort of come together for, for a really nice look. You can see like what all would have kind of been on the same like mold sprue pieces. You got the blues and these greens, these kind of clear uh, smoky blue. It's not as like bright as the camera's making it out. It's a little more subtle but i'm sure a lot of that has to do with uh with the lighting and things like that here and then like what's interesting is how like these are you know two separate pieces um for for those like i i, I like it's just weird that maybe like those would be on their own sprue kind of together with like this sharing it you know like i don't know it, it's, it's weird it's really cool but i really really love this color uh, i love this translucent blue it's it's gorgeous so Anyways, pull that down. You can see the red um, Maximal Spark Crystal, which is actually a Maximal and like from Beast Wars and not from Beast Machines. But oftentimes on some of these test shots and even some of the hard copies, uh, the resins that I've handled, they've had just like random Spark Crystals kind of thrown in there. Which you know, whatever. It's interesting. So, anyways, uh, that's that's pretty much it for uh, Beast Mode. It's a solid look. Uh, I really do dig it. I just, the, the translucent blue is what honestly like sold this uh, for me personally. But yeah, let's get into robot mode. All right, so here we have uh, this test shot in its robot mode. I had to kind of adjust the uh, the white balance a little bit so the green would come off a little bit better, a little more accurate, still slightly darker uh, in hand, or maybe I should say like more of a red hue in hand, but whatever, you, you guys get the point. So, uh, yeah, uh, as with all, like, Ramulus uh, figures, you want to be careful with these pieces in here. You definitely don't want those to break. Uh, that that would be uh, devastating, because, like, that's pretty much irreparable. But, uh, yeah, but yeah, so, really neat. Uh, we got the... I like having the horns kind of hang off the back like this. That's just... I don't know, I've always thought that looked cool. But you can rotate... Oh, let's get this off of this. I don't want that peg to break. You can rotate these out and what's like what's nice is like everything's tight like everything is like final retail toy uh tolerances uh, tight on this which i'm a you know big fan of with with test shots like you either get something that's like too super loose or maybe too scary tight but anyways you can kind of give them this look which is definitely that more like uh you know marvel uh g2 leech maximo look uh which is uh you know like that's that's what I think I would probably go for if if we ever did get that like as a release. But otherwise, like me, it looks great both ways. So let's get this off of here. Boot that down. And as far as like holding the weapon, he kind of does, kind of doesn't. It's a little little tight fit, but you can get it in there good enough. Have him hold it up. Makes him a little little front heavy, right? So, got to adjust those knees. But, uh, but yeah. So, holds the weapon. It stores well. Uh, can't really ask for more there, right? Just a really solid piece. Uh, if another one ever goes up for sale, I totally recommend anybody to, to bid on it. It's a, it's a really cool test shot. Just a nice example of how uh, unique these, like, pre-production pieces really can be. So, uh, which... It's kind of like, like I guess, like as a little spoiler for like the next test shot that I'm gonna kind of take a look at. It's sort of the exact opposite of this. Like this is just the perfect specimen. The next one, 
not so much, but I guess we'll get into it when we get into it. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. Uh, otherwise, I have a gallery of this up on my Facebook page. Uh, just search Facebook for Primal Sabbath, and uh, you should come across it pretty easily. It's still pretty uh, close to the top. So uh, anyways, I'll see you all in the next video.